How's it going, everyone? Equinox Phoenix here. Today, we're going to talk about Superman Lois, Season 2, Episode 8, titled Into Oblivion. Oh, you could probably tell from the look on my face uh, where this uh, episode went. Um, all right, first things first. Uh, Kyle and Alana. Let's start, let's, let's start with them. This is the easy stuff. <laughs> Um, Kyle goes to, uh, his old home to pick up the girls and take them to school and breakfast. Um, then he comes back later on due to someone canceling on Lana, um, to help Lana <laughs> get answers for the many questions that they're going to be asked in a debate ready now Kyle insists on asking the um family values questions um because the moderator is Dean's hunting buddy and uh uh one of the questions is, how are you going to keep Scandal out of Smallville when you can't keep it out of your own home? This sets Lano off so much. <laughs> For obvious reasons. She didn't. Um, it was Kyle. Who did. Now, her actual answer, uh, when Kyle says that's not an answer, because it, quite frankly, it isn't. Uh... uh Kyle's right. I hate saying that, but Kyle's right. <sighs> she finally does answer, so, uh, gives a question about integrity and honesty and all of that, which Lana has done, right? She's not the one in the wrong with uh, her marriage. That was all Kyle. Fuck you, Kyle. Anyway, uh... They get through it all, and um, Kyle reveals he moved out of the fire station place and is now like leasing an apartment on a like a, a the on a uh, short term lease. Sorry, I don't know why my brain just wouldn't make the connection. Um. And that's the end of that. Now, um, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Sarah asks Jordan to um, have dinner with her and Aubrey. She reveals that she's uh, met up with Aubrey and they're back to being friends. Jordan is justifiably uncomfortable with this idea, with the idea of going to dinner with Aubrey and Sarah because... You know, Aubrey kissed Sarah at camp. It, it's a bit awkward. Um, like, uh. but before he can say no, some druggie comes in, uh, practically assaulting Candace and Jordan with his Kryptonian hearing hears it, and then he steps up to uh, defend Candace. Like, obviously, like, he's defending his brother's girlfriend, right? Like, you know, he's doing the thing, right? That, and he's being trained to be a hero. Heroes save everyone, even villains. Uh, to the best of their extent, obviously, if they're a danger to society, and uh, living will, uh, them living will cause untold amounts of damage, you just um, let them die. You don't kill them. You just kind of let them die, as it were. Right. Um, he, like, gets uh, Mickey the druggie uh, to back off. And Candace is a bit, like, mm, touch and go with, like, her response with Jordan. Understandably so. Uh but now Jordan has said yes and agreed to a uh, meeting with Sarah and Aubrey. Ooh. 
Now, um, Jonathan has to work at um at a store, and Jordan goes and meets up with him. Um at the store and is like yeah uh, i i agreed to uh go uh have dinner with sarah and aubrey and he's like why i'm like to defend your girlfriend <laughs> he's like oh shit so you know and it's like so and they're like they have like this like brotherly like the brotherly moment in the store uh or like yeah i've i and, and they and they both like yeah um it, it's, they both have like a really nice brotherly moment uh, i'm not gonna go into too much specifics on it it's 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 really sweet you should watch it now as um now candace is in the store um when jonathan is clocking out and because he is worried about his girlfriend um, he offers to walk her home, and she agrees. Um, on their walk home, Candace confesses that she loves Jonathan. They kiss, and Mickey shows up. <sighs> now, Mickey is up the XK, so um, he starts to kind of, kind of, sort of beat down on. On Jonathan, but not, like, not really. It's, it's like, he's not, like, super strength, super strength, but he's, like, stronger than average. And so, Jonathan uh, trips the, uh, emergency beacon, getting Jordan in. And Jordan is about to walk into the diner, and then he's, he hears it, and he's, like, and hears Candace yelling and whatnot, because, uh, at the time... Candace was like getting dragged into the car. So Jonathan goes in, takes the keys from the car, and chucks it into the fields, right? Because obviously this is Kansas and uh, there's fields everywhere, especially in Smallville. And so. Uh, how do I put this? The dude comes in, he's like, I don't. Okay, that's it. You're dead now. And then, boom. He just, he punches, um, uh, Jonathan and sends him, like, rolling back. And as he's going to finish the job, Jordan comes in, knocks Mickey on his ass, and literally beats the ever-living shit out of Mickey. And then Jonathan comes up, lifts him by his shirt, he's like, if you ever come near Candace again, I'm sending him after you. Pointing towards, uh, Jordan wearing a hood and shit, like, some kind of, like, it's kind of very villain-esque. It's actually very Titans-esque. Um, I, I, this one, this is a scene straight out of, like, Titans and shit. Like, man in a hood. Um, honestly, I love this scene. Anyway, um, now they're like, yeah, uh, I should probably go get Candace. You go do you, your, your thing. Jordan ru runs back off towards the diner, but then realizing he's kind of cut, and then he's got, like, blood on his knuckles and he's like oh shit i probably shouldn't so he walks away as uh sarah's like ah something probably came up and she's like tossing a napkin onto the table it's, it's really weird anyway so jonathan comes home and when when his parents ask where, where he was he said he was walking candace home and clark blows up at um at jonathan because he doesn't believe him we, as the viewers, know, yeah, he was actually doing that. And Lois is like, dude, like, Clark, calm down. Uh, you don't want this type of thing to continue for too long because, you know. Like, she's got the family issues up the ass. Now, uh, B-side. Um, John is waking up, and he's a bit confused. He's got a moments of confusion, um, like, forgetting that Lois of Earth Prime isn't his Lois. Uh, stuff like that. Um, Natalie blows up in Clark's face. Um, because he has the same face as the guy who killed her mom. Which is, um, fair. 
Uh, now, Anderson has given the pendant to Allie. Allie has taken seven, six other people with her. Now, um, this includes Chrissy. Unfortunately, the portal that they go into kind of seems to destroy the people. And so everyone's like freaking out. Anderson takes the pendant from Allie and just goes into the portal. Um, I don't know if this is like a fused pendant or just the pendant from the other from the inverse world. Um but Anderson takes it to the other side, and he seems to not get eaten alive by the portal. Superman successfully manages to save Chrissy and Allie. Um, and then there's this one, there's a third dude. So, seven went in, three come out. Who are the four missing people? In the interrogation, we find out that, well, obviously, it's re not really revealed. Um, Ali pushes on the general's buttons to the point where he, like, has a breakdown uh, of sorts. Um, and she's like, I'm not going to talk without my lawyer. Uh, it's like... Girl, you're in the DOD. You're probably not getting a lawyer. You're going to get tossed into a hole that doesn't exist. Like, let's be real here. Um, anyway, Lois manages to talk Sam down. And... Uh, yeah. Um... Uh, everyone's having like a very emotional uh, episode um uh, at, at this point um we're missing lucy uh she's mia uh presumed deceased <laughs> natalie um justifiably so and uh john explains this um that natalie just needs time to get used to clark and so he's like, here, he throws her some keys at the end, towards the end of the episode. It's like, this is keys to an apartment that a friend of mine is renting out. Go give it a look uh, and see if you like it uh, kind of thing. Like, uh, like obviously, forcing you to live with us is not helping. Uh, if you want to give me give him a chance, give him a chance. Uh, she's like, you know, she's kind of there. Uh, throughout the episode, we see flashbacks of Natalie's, um, end. We obviously know it's not for end, it's more towards her world's end, and she apparently got trapped in between worlds. Which, I didn't know that was possible, but... I don't know if this is a precedent with Arrowverse Multiverse? Or if this is like an old DC thing? I, I don't remember. But, uh, it's neither here nor there. Um... Anyway, so they go and see the apartment, uh, and Natalie likes it, because all that's important, aka her father, is there. Weird how she... Well, I mean, uh, I was gonna say weird how she doesn't consider her mom important, but her mom's dead. Yeah, it's not weird. It makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Anyway. Jonathan and Jordan have another brotherly bonding moment where uh, Jordan's like, don't hide things from me, dude. We're the fraternals. We got each other's back kind of thing. Uh, the, 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 the name fraternals is, um, yeah, it's a bit. <clears throat> anyway. Lucy drugs the general. Uh, turns out, Lucy has not seen the light. Uh, she is the failsafe uh, to make sure that Ali gets to the other side. And uh... that's great. 
Um, Lucia is not yet saved. Um, <sighs> I miss the pre-crisis Lucy. The pre-crisis Lucy was a member of the military, and she was friends with Kara. <laughs> Right, this new post crisis Lucy that's like a druggie and shit and completely off the rails. I don't like her. I mean, to be fair, I didn't like pre crisis Lucy either uh, in the beginning until uh, you know, they uh worked her in properly and then she disappeared and never to be seen or heard from again. Which, what can you do? Did it do the same with Maggie Sawyer. Oh boy, that one's uh <sighs> Anyway, overall I'd say this episode was good. We got you know some good and bad bits uh, as always. Uh not really bad. It's it's for the story, but it's just like I'm kind of just... Can we just write Kyle out of the show? Right? Man's a cheater. It's, it's fine. Just kill him off or something. You know. Anyway. Tell me what you guys thought of the episode down in the comment section down below. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys next time. And as always, stay bright.